vintage tee, a brand new phone, high heels on, the cobblestones. When you were young, they assume you know nothing. Hi, welcome back to another One Shot Lesson. Today we're doing Cardigan by Taylor Swift. It's a really nice, easy strumming song with some easy open chords if we use a capo on the third fret. So download your one chart and let's get stuck into it. We're going to need a D minor. It's probably the trickiest chord out of the whole lot. G, which you can play with two fingers or one finger on the top notes there. Uh, F, might be the trickiest chord out of, out of them all. And a C. And I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and an A minor, we're also using. So download your one chart. It's a very straightforward song. I'm going to take you fairly quickly through this chart and then show you the strumming patterns that I think will sound best on this song. It's, uh, it's not, you know, it's not rocket science. You keep your hand moving, you keep time. Whatever you strum, if you're keeping in time, is going to sound pretty good on this song. So let's get started. First chord is D minor, as we just did in the intro. Vintage T, D minor, brand new phone. High heels on, G, cobblestones, F, which you can do as an F slash C like I'm doing here, or just a normal F. When you are young, they assume you know nothing. Finish on the G, repeat that. Then we move into the chorus. And I knew you. Dancing in your Levi's, drunk under a street light. I, I knew you, handing in my sweatshirt, baby kissing better. I. Then we go back to another verse and repeat that line again. Do another chorus, and then at the end of the second chorus, we do uh, a little sort of chorus coda, I've called it, but it's an F, A minor. To um, what I call the bridge, which may or may not be the bridge, but it's it's the section that goes F, A minor, G, and then F, and then it repeats that again, and then we move into a chorus. But I knew you, That time we repeat that chorus, we do that line four times, which means a, a double chorus. Then it's another verse, D minor G, F, G, then straight into the chorus coda to finish, which is... Um, and when I feel like I was an old cardigan under someone's bed, you put me on and said I was your favorite. The strumming, we'll get to now. The strumming needs to be quite loose and, and relaxed and straightforward. And this is how you do it. Whole song. Strumming wise, what you're gonna do really is kind of just get that So it's kind of like down, down, up, up, down, down, down. Down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down. I'll do the chorus again. Down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, down. So it's one and two and three and four and one and a two and a three e and a four e and a. So you can hear that one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one. You start doing that two, three, four, and you go one and two and three and four. Then by doing that, all eighth notes, all downstrokes, you're automatically catching the sixteenth notes in between all those eighth notes on the way up. Even if you're not hitting the strings, one and two and three and a four and a one and a two and a three. So my point with this is that 
if your hand is swinging in time and going one and two and it won't matter when you hit the strings and when you miss the strings and you can make up your own strumming patterns that is going to fit into the tempo of this song perfectly and you can play around with it you can change it you can strum more in the chorus less in the verse whatever you like but the important thing is to keep that right hand moving and let your right hand keep you in time one and two do that comfortably on autopilot so you can actually speak have a conversation keep up that sort of rhythm without really even trying hard you've got it try it out try it with different songs try and fit into the tempo of a song doing those quarter notes first then all eighth notes keep them all as downstrokes then you're automatically doing the 16th notes in between those as well you just need to hit the strings so you can hear them and have fun with that song like I said it's a nice easy strumming song um, Taylor Swift cardigan hope you enjoyed it please come back learn some more songs with me uh, let me know how you're going subscribe to the channel we're, we're putting up new videos every week and we hope to see you back here again soon thanks a lot bye for now